Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Rad Tarot and in this whole video we're going to look into uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon and as well Rising and their experience in the week December 28th up until January 3rd, 2021 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can see a full list of my services and as well their pricing also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook is different from one another. Here I'm posting in YouTube, I'm posting the, uh, weekly tarot readings and as well monthly tarot readings whenever I do have the time for it. But in Facebook you can see me live uh, for major transits and as well daily tarot guidances that I'm posting on a daily occasions. And as well a astrology posts that are performed by the astrologer I'm working with, Pisces Moonbeam, fantastic astrologer it's just i i never saw a better one than, than than her so if you do want astrology reading try her out i guarantee you you won't be disappointed so uh with pisces first card that we do have as you do enter in the week here we do have the high priestess uh, that's a pretty funny key to be interpreted, to be honest. Uh, it's because the High Priestess refers to our inner or to your inner needs, okay? Generally, on the surface, uh, as life progresses, you're going to find uh, doing what you are supposed to do in work and doing what you are supposed to do into your, uh, into your relationship or if you are in a relationship or not having much of a uh, options available in front of you in terms of a lot of prospects that is at the start of the week, not throughout the duration of the entire week though because we haven't saw the other cards. But with the High Priestess here, you're going to turn your look toward inward of yourself and ask yourself what my soul Soul really needs and that is the sole purpose of the high priestess to find out you know where your soul is dragging you toward what kind of a thing you want for yourself to happen moving moving forward into the future is your soulmate around or not for example is the job that you're working at it's the job that you enjoy or not is uh, is for example spending so much time in your social circle is the time that is how you want to spend your time and so on and so forth that is kind of like um, seeking guidance from your inner self i know that it sounds very abstract here seeking guidance from your inner voice which is something very different from intuition okay inner voice it is when the, you are guided by your uh, experience which you have forgotten and it could be an experience from past lives as well while intuition it is when you do presume something that you have no clue how you are presuming it okay here you do have the clue and you're gonna find the answers within yourself but just for the practical reasons ex expect at the start of the week not much to move around you're just gonna do whatever you have planned and it's going to be as it is moving next we do have the devil and uh, that is a very powerful card to the high priestess actually you're gonna find the answers almost immediately in the first or the second day of the week as the week progresses and not just only that but you are also going to find out how to accomplish them okay so whatever you yearn for is going to become available at the uh, towards the mid of the week that we do have here with the devil card and uh, also with the devil, uh, whatever you want to accomplish is going to be accomplishable at, uh, at that point. Now, it's very important to remind you that the devil is very strong impulse neutral by its, its nature you can use it to create you can use it to destroy whatever or whatever suits you best but at the end you have to take responsibility for your creation and uh, for that sometimes it's very advisable not to take advantage of the impulse that the devil gives you but you will pretty much gonna know that you're gonna find that uh, answer what you will have to do with or what you should do with that impulse uh, through the high priestess at the very start of the week itself now saying that because some of you Pisces are going to be intoxicated by the power of the devil seeing that you can make it the way you want to make it and you're making it just for because you can make it there are such kind of people I'm not saying that all of you are like that but there are those that are like that 
And uh, if you do it for a solo purpose, you know, to make somebody feel bad, to hurt somebody, you will have to pay for it, okay? After that, with reciprocal measures as well. So be very careful how, once again, you do use that huge impulse, but the devil gives you wings and you can pretty much fly through with those wings, which is not necessarily bad. The concept of the devil, I'm explaining it into my, uh, into my tarot classes, uh, and if you are taking them, you are gonna see that that's not a bad thing at all because well I will say it that way Lucifer became the devil just because he uh, did not love us as human beings that was his sin because he was um, enforced by God to do it so but I'm explaining that into um, uh, into the um, into the tarot classes. So moving next, we do have uh, the uh, Queen of Swords and that is uh, in the middle of the week here, we do have individual appearing up. And uh, I do believe that the accessibility of uh, some of these uh, yearnings and, uh, and desires that you may have, it's not going to be uh, available just by yourself. And here, where is someone stepping up? Uh, that will offer you uh, to, to do it for you, so to speak, in a sense of that the Queen of Swords is an individual that can pretty much push everything through, okay? That there is no such thing as an, an impossible endeavor for the Queen of Swords. She always, and I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be also a... Um, also a male here, they always have the answer because they have the information as well. So it's very possible that that person comes about and gives you the information you need in order to accomplish your goals and in order to accomplish your dreams. But not just only that, the Queen of Swords could be as well a physician in a sense of a medical doctor that will pretty much going to find out what is wrong with you, should there be wrong with you, should there be something wrong with you and assign a very, very, uh, how can I say, uh, not just only accurate, but as well, very, very effective treatment. It's pretty much, there is no impossible thing for uh, that person. Hopefully that is not someone that stands against you against you, because, because that is also a possibility here. Someone that sees that you are accomplishing way too much in a short space. Um, a span of period of time here and you are crossing paths with her if that's the case it will be very important that you do close up the argument throughout the week while you do have the wings of like I said the devil here because at that point you are going to be unstoppable irresistible as well and pretty much you can like I said force and shape the circumstances the way you want to shape them and the queen of swords will have no chance but to oblige to uh, to the to those circumstances into the rules and stipulations that you are to present moving next we do have the magician and i do believe that the latter that i just said here the latter that i just said here it will be highly highly unlikely because the magician refers to the uh, capabilities that you are going to exert after that after the meeting with the queen of swords seeing yourself very capable to do what you want to do the way you want to do it okay and uh, with the magician you are pretty much going to win a lot of followers toward the end towards the end of the week people will be amazed by your skills by your um how do you say it by your um communicational skills as well by your practical skills and uh, pretty much people are going to see you as a um, a person or an individual of uh, sovereignty that we do have here. At that point, you will not have to pretend to be someone else, but you are gonna be liked for what you truly are. Uh, it will be very um, possible as well, or rather like very favorable for you towards the end of the week, should you are baffling what you are to do next in terms of growth, personal growth, uh, that, that may be the time where you decide what kind of a classes you want to sign up for, what kind of a qualification, if you are on a verge of deciding what you want to learn, something from, uh, from a that nature. You're going to be very, very capable 
in this week Pisces, December 28th to, December, to January 30, 2020. And the universe is give you the luxury to decide what you, what you want to do with that capability. So please guys, do something good rather than to spread uh, chaos and upheaval in the world because if you uh, strive for that, you can definitely do it, okay? Having those, uh, those cards. To me, what it seems here, Pisces, before I draw the last card, it seems that <clears throat> you are, uh, how can I say, uh, to say the least reluctant to, to uh, move forward because you had um, no clear idea what you want to do from now on. And now at the start of the week, you are finding the answer within yourself. And that, in, in that release is a huge impulse of energy here that is, give, that is signified by the devil card. And uh, with that impulse, you pretty much simply go, are making the things to happen because the magician towards the end of the week points that you're gonna make the, the impossible possible, okay? What, whomever doubted you, they are gonna be proved otherwise. And that is the, call, the, 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 soul, the core reason of the following that you're gonna have. People are gonna be amazed but you, but, uh, by what you can accomplish throughout the week and not just only throughout the week but moving forward as well and the last one that we do have for you that is the wheel of fortune and it's just i could say that's the uh happening here or rather like the accomplishments through the magicians the through the magician the very first step is just only the beginning okay you have chosen here into the last week of this year you are to choose a direction of your life, a law, for example, or a career, or something that you are to learn, okay, or a resolution to a certain difficulty that pretty much is gonna bring you a, an opportunity to make a productive and positive change that, happen, that happens once in a lifetime. So that's your chance here to make, uh, how can I say, to make a difference. That's your chance to, I cannot say restart your life, but to make it exponentially better. And that opportunity comes towards the end of the week itself. You do not want to miss it at all. Uh, as the card falls at the end of the week, you can expect that the start of the next week is going to be very, very busy as we are all starting to work. So should you work, you can expect a lot of a, uh, uh, purchase orders, for example, a lot of tasks to be assigned as well to you. Don't be afraid of it. That itself brings the change, the change toward the positive end on its own accord. And just by undertaking all of the responsibilities, may that be toward your relationship or toward your career, that is, is going to give Give you the power you need in order to demand after that okay so here uh, what those cards are pointing it is that based on this initial impulse uh, a lot is opening in front of you and you should not be scared but just try it out all of it okay just all of it do not pull yourself away from none of it you get to decide what course your destiny is gonna take here for that specific enterprise that those cards are talking about which is going to be once again like i said different for every single one of you love career friendships family etc etc you get to decide which uh, what direction you are going to take off hopefully your decision is going to be something you can live with because like i said with the devil whatever you do you have to live with it so uh, that being said, Pisces, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, December 28th to January 3rd, 2020, uh, 2021, I'm sorry. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.